So, my money's on the Hulk. I am so happy right now. Uh, like a doll's eyes here with the Iron Studios Hulk. A piece that, um, well, let me just start off by saying this piece had a lot of controversy surrounding it. And with, not without merit. I mean, it was, it was shown off at San Diego Comic Con a couple years ago. And uh, it wasn't completely finished. Um, it had a rather comical head on top. And uh, so it was one of those pieces, like, the more I looked at it, the more I kind of liked it, but that head was goofy, and but the size was cool and stuff like that, so I was, I was like, eh. But anyway, they ended up having uh, four, uh, three other heads that were going to come with it, and two of them I absolutely uh, love. And um, Iron Studios has been nothing but home runs for me, and I that stu they, they get a lot of grief online. I don't know why. Darth Vader and Punisher are... The two best statues of those characters, I think, out there right now. Um, and uh, their Wolverine, I thought was pretty good with an ugly, ugly base. And uh, their Captain America Civil War was really good. And the pieces they got coming out all look good from their movies and stuff like that. And this piece is is great also. And uh, I don't know if I ever need another Hulk. I think I, I've looked long and hard for my perfect Hulk and, and this might be it. It's not without its problems, and I'm going to talk about those first. Okay, so, uh, first thing is the sand on the base. Sand on the base is a little, it kind of looks like plastic, and it could be done better without question. Um, it's still, it's good. I, I like the effect of his, of his foot sliding here and everything else, but it's, it's just kind of a, yeah, bait. I mean, the, the, the sand could have been done better. The, um, the the bullet holes look cool, though. I like that the bullets are all shooting up here. They look really good in the helicopter. Helicopter's decent. Not, not, not great. Could have been maybe looked a little more metal or something like that. I don't know, but it's good. My biggest complaint is the, um, the paint on the feet. The toenails, I should say. Uh, the production pictures, it, it, it looked a little better. And that'll take me to another issue I have with it. But, um... I wish it was uh, a little more, maybe some darkness to it, some blackness or something. I don't know, but I'm happy with mine that the, the sand doesn't. Some people's, it looks like the sand goes almost all the way up here, and I was really worried about that. My sand really just kind of seems to cover the toes, and I'm glad that's that's it. Um, otherwise, uh, I just wish the, these were done a little better. Maybe I can even do something about that. The shading is done very well. That was something that was a big... Um, hoop to do and I even had uh, was worried about it with with pictures and I'll talk about that when I get a little higher pants are done well with texturing really like how this is done this thing is massive also I mean I had a picture of them next to Wolverine there and it's a little unfair because Wolverine's a small piece but um, he's massive he is absolutely massive um, all right let's talk about the shading so I know that how this is looking through the camera lens. I'm looking through this. And it looks like, the big problem people have is it has this black line It looks like straight across and the black shading right down the middle. And it almost gives them this, this cross. It does not look like that in person. It looks like there's some darker shading here, then almost no shading, then a little bit of shading here. A little bit of darkness, almost no shading, then shading. Then a little bit of shading here. You can see the shading here, which, again, the... the the camera brings it out, but in person it just looks more like it's just his muscles on muscles. It just looks normal. I don't I get down in front of I, I it's, it's just not an issue. And I know it looks like an issue in my camera, but it's, it's not in person. It looks natural. It looks real. Maybe could have been rounded a little bit more here, like the, the, the strands could have. Someone drew a picture and said that's the way it should look or something like that. I can't remember which way, but it may, there might be some truth to there. Uh, no complaints about how his arms are done. His arms are massive and look really cool. The veinage is awesome. Um, his hands. Now, here's probably my biggest gripe about the piece. I wish the fingernails were painted better. If you go back and look at the proto pieces, the proto pieces had a lot of um, coloring and texture, not texture, but a lot of different colors in there of, of green, a little bit, even a bit, a bit of pinkish in there, and some grime and dirt. And this kind of looks like the, the, the rest of the paint on the piece. You can see there's like nothing really makes it stand out. That to me is a drawback and I might try to do something with that though that scares me to death to 
to mess with it. So it's it's not a killer. I mean, but it looks it looks amazing. And uh, we'll do the hand comparison thing there, and you can just see how freaking huge his hand is. And we'll bring it back in, and it's massive. And I got big I got big paws. I got not the biggest fingers, but I got big paws, and that's this is a big piece. So. And we come out through here, and then we have the missile. So the missile was a big joke with a lot of people. One thing you can do, you can take the missile out, completely out. It, it, it fits right up through there and, and fits right in. Um, I was really hoping that the flames were going to uh, not be a, um, were magnetized, so I wouldn't have to have the flame in there. Um, I'm tempted to break the flame. I don't even hate the flame. I don't hate the missile. I think the missile kind of gives it um, a more massive look. Uh, but um, it works, but it's not perfect. But, you know, it, it, it's good enough. I really don't have a real complaint about it. The nice thing is, is someone's going to come up with something different to customize in there because you can take that out. And someone's going to do that, and that will sell, and I'll probably buy it, and I'll be happy. But again, oh, great detail, great detail, great shading. So, here's why I personally was sold on this. I love this head sculpt. And I love, and the, the camera's not picking this out. Two things. The teeth look bigger than they do in real life, all right? It just looks like he's got a lot of teeth going on. And they don't show how grimy and dingy they look. Um, somebody says, oh, they're too white. And I thought they were too white in the pictures. They actually have a yellow, yellowish tint. They look like real teeth. It's really well done. I love this head sculpt. I don't know why people hate this head sculpt. It really does not make any sense to me. I think that's a great head sculpt. Um, there's two head sculpts I think look fantastic on this thing, and this is one of them. And I don't know which one I like better. This is darn close, so I like the open mouth look. The other issue a lot of people had was the texturing, and I was worried about that also. I thought the texturing was going to uh, would look too bumpy and everything. In person, they just look like deep pores. It's not. It's really not an issue. And I, I, I can't. I was looking at the teeth in the camera again. I can't get over how big they look. And in person, they just don't. It, it does work. I, I, I think the 2D gives it makes the teeth look better, but three dimensional look, they don't look this big. So anyway, but the texturing looks fine. Uh, jeez, guys, this is a great piece. This is. This is a home run, and I've had the original premium format, I've had the Comic Cat, I've had um, the King Hulk, the Gladiator Hulk, I had the second premium format, I had a bunch of hard, the hard heroes, the, the Bowens, I had a bunch of Bowens, oh my goodness, I'm sure if I think about it, uh, the, the Comic Cat, I had the Comic Cat, um, I have the Comic Cat still, and I, this, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's my favorite, I like the comic book look to it. I like the mass to it. I love the head sculpt. And I know people don't, and I don't understand why, but I love it, and that's all that's important is that I love it. And hopefully the other people, the people that get this love it also. So what they did with the head sculpt, though, it's kind of neat. So you can't really see seams. I mean, you can a little bit, but nothing too bad, especially from the front and stuff like that. But even on the side, it's not awful. I know a lot of people can't stand the seams and stuff like that, but... It's really not an issue, and the way they did it's kind of neat. Um, when you take it off, if you just try to lay it back on, it feels like it don't fit, and it doesn't, and that scared me. I was like, oh, no, I've got a sideshow Hulk issue here. But if you kind of slide it in, there it goes, and you can hardly see anything. And again, just looking at this and just pointing out, it looks like there's so much texturing here and, and everything, and it's not that bad in person. The thing's great. I can't stress that enough. So let me show you my, my second favorite head. I think this one looks pretty great also. No complaints. Again, everything looks good. His teeth look too white on camera. I'll admit that. But they look great in person. Not an issue. I would say if I had anything else this maybe could have had is maybe a little more paint and shadowing around the brow and the in the in the mouth here and, and just a little bit more shadowing. 
but again, it's nothing that kills the piece. Again, and it, maybe on camera it looks like there's plenty, but in person it, it could definitely use a little bit more. Still not complaining though. This thing, the pros completely outweigh the negatives, in my opinion. If you don't like any of the heads, you don't like any of the heads. There's nothing to do. If you don't like the, if you think the texturing will bother you, you think the shading is going to look like it does on video and stuff like that, then yes, avoid at all costs. I'm telling you right now, this thing's great. The other people that own this, I can guarantee, are happy with this piece. Um, let me take this off here and show you the other one. So this one's the funny one um, that I actually like on the piece. Um, I think it fits and works on the piece. That's a little small. He's sure got kind of a goofy look going on here, but the, again, the teeth are done well. He's got a good rage mode going on. I, I'm looking at it through the camera here, and I really like it. Um, I, I, that's my third phase. I tell you what, I will, for minimal amounts of time, <laughs> display it with this head. When I just feel like doing something a little different, this will get displayed with that head. It is a tiny head. But I kind of like tiny head hulks. So my favorite artist draw Hulk with a tiny head. I don't understand why everybody freaks out about the, 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 the tiny head hulks. And it's like he's drawn that way so many times, especially in the modern. If you don't like tiny head hulk in the drawings, then I get it. But he's drawn that way all the time. So I like that one. And then my least favorite, which I think actually looks good as just a head sculpt. But it looks, I think, goofy. And a lot of people like this piece. So... You know, teach their own, you know. I this one again looks in my opinion looks better through the camera, but in person, I yeah <laughs> I don't know, it makes me laugh, and I think it's the hair, I don't know. It's still pretty good though. It's a good head sculpt. On another Hulk, uh, I think this is good. If it was another Hulk done in more of a 70s style, I think it would, would work. If the muscles weren't so huge on this thing and stood out so much, I think that this head sculpt would, would work, but as is, it's just, it does look a little goofy. It looks a little off. It's a little too calm for a piece like this. And, and, and even though it's the other one has a smaller head, um, because of the rippling muscles and everything, it, it kind of fits more naturally. He's not angry enough with these muscles the way they are with a head as small as this is. So, um, so that's that. So anyway, love it. This is Iron Studios, man. I am not worried about buying a piece from them at all so far. I mean, I will buy a piece from them. If I think I like a piece and I think I want it, I'm not going to worry about the, the quality because they pretty much put out production value, except for, man, I wish they did those nails better. They did those nails better, 10 out of 10, no question. I, don't even, I wouldn't even care about the sand because the base, this guy's so big, the base is not that big of a deal. I mean, you don't even really look at the base. I might even take some of these pieces off the base so it just kind of focuses on Hulk more. But, man, I love this angle. When you just stand a little bit above him and he just he looks even angrier and meaner. Those eyes are scowling. So, I had one minor problem. And I don't know, I might contact the sideshow about this, give you guys a side view here. Um, they packaged it up, and you guys remember the Spider-Man premium format. Some of the paint came off, and same thing happened to my Hulk here. A little bit of paint came off. Boy, is that's a minor problem, and I don't know if I will complain or not. It's on his back. If it was on his chest, unacceptable for me. I would have had to call. I would have had to complain. Hope to get another piece. I really would have hoped to get another piece, and they wouldn't give me the runaround with a refund because... I want to keep this piece. This piece is awesome. and Or not a refund, but yeah, a, a partial refund. And this piece just, look at those, man. This thing's fantastic, guys. I'm telling you. I understand. I understand people like might not like the head sculpt and stuff like that, but you, there is nothing else you can fault this piece for. I know people have been ragging on it. And uh, I don't know why. But to each their own, and it's not, like I said, I'm not a Hulk novice here. I'm not, this is the my first Hulk statue, or my first big statue even. I've had big one-third scale statues and stuff like that. This is just very cool. This thing has presence. This thing has massive presence. And I'm glad I got it. So, 
anybody out there likes this piece, and I hope you, you know, I hope you get it, and I hope you love it. Um, I got it, and I love it, and I have no issues. And the only thing, like I said, those nails, and I might mess around with those, and I probably won't. <laughs> so, like a doll's eyes here. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.